Hi, I'm Mike Bowler from the RPM Show, a podcast all about entertainment that you can find at www.therpmshow.com. I am the television correspondent and tech producer, mostly. Today I would like to talk to you about the CBS show Criminal Minds Suspect Behavior, a spinoff of the CBS show Criminal Minds. Ryan likes to refer to Suspect Behavior as Minds 2.0. It stars Forrest Whitaker, Janine Garofalo, Michael Kelly, uh, Bo Garrett, Matt Ryan, and Kristen Vangsness as Penelope Garcia, a character that is featured in both of the shows now and played by the same actress. It is uh, also featured by creator uh, Edward Allen Vernero, who also helms the original Criminal Minds. And uh, it was first officially launched as a crossover episode in April of last year, almost a year ago, when the team, uh, minus Janine Garofalo's character, helped the BAU solve a case in the original Criminal Minds toward the end of the season. Uh, I have to be the one to discuss this show as the resident Criminal Minds fanatic, and I can say that the show is true to the original in some aspects, uh, assisted by the addition of uh, Penelope Garcia, a fan favorite from the original. Uh, it has the darkness of the original, and it is backed by really good writing. However, there are places where they need to grow a little bit. I've yet to see a place where the show finds its own footing and doesn't rely on the original. They have to take note of the CSI spinoffs and the NCIS spinoff. Uh, each show, disregarding a few crossovers, stands on its own, and the show has yet to do the same. I'm also afraid the, pre the presence of Penelope Garcia is still going to help hinder the transition in some ways, but I have faith in Bernero to help this show soar. He is one of the few producers that has not yet disappointed me as a fan, disregarding the departures of A.J. Cook and Paget Brewster. With those aspects alone, he has not really let me down, and I'm not really sure that that even had anything to do with him whatsoever. They're doing a really good, good job at merging the necessary uh, backstory with a good amount of casework and uh, a decent amount of... darkness, edginess, and I guess you'd say momentum, um, uh, excitement maybe, and I'm looking forward to what they have next up their sleeves, so uh, go to the RPM show, uh, uh, you know, check, our, check out our full review, Ryan talked about it a little bit too, it's therpmshow.com, uh, but I will say this, I talked about this a little bit further on the show, but uh, on the RPM show we use a typical TV critic rating of one to, one to four stars, and I give Criminal Mind Suspect Behavior three of those four stars, pending their ability to meet my expectations. I am cautiously optimistic, and um, I can't wait to see where the show goes next with uh, the rest of the season and see where it takes us. Criminal Mind Suspect Behavior is on CBS Wednesday nights, 10 to 11 p.m. Eastern Time after the original Criminal Minds. And also, like I said, check out the RPM show. Listen to our broadcast to get more in-depth reviews and information and give us feedback. We'd love to hear what you have to say about the show. So you can also email me at mike at the rpmshow.com and your comments might make it on our next broadcast.